Four subjects left. Which one would you like, Jane? I'll go with um, second grade animal science. Second grade animal science, okay. The second grade animal science question is this. The animal known as the yak is native to what continent? The animal known as the yak is native to what continent? Um, actually, I'm not really sure what a yak is. Okay, that would be so helpful. Yeah. That, that. <laughs> I can tell you this, oh. all three kids have the right answer. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's North America. Okay. I don't think it's Asia. So we're down I, to a one I, in I five I keep show. wanting to lean towards Africa or Europe. I'm going to go with my first guess, Africa. Talking in Africa. Talking it in. <laughs> All right. Uh, Group of very smart fifth graders. <laughs> On three, everybody yell out the correct answer. Oh. Mm. One, two, three. Asia! Asia. <laughs> the second one you eliminated <laughs> from the list. We are back it's at zero. Right. We keep know, doing I'm this. Trying. Making I'm money, trying. giving it back. <laughs> Science. Animal science. Second grade animal science, okay? Yeah. You can add $1,000 to your total with the correct answer. Here's the question. Yeah. Egret is which of the following type of animal? Bird, mammal, or reptile? An egret is which of the following type of animal? Bird, mammal, or reptile? <laughs> Lauren is locked in. She locks in so gently. <laughs> What do we know about egrets? Uh, <laughs> starts with the E. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but it's multiple choice. I can't go too bad. Um, bird jumps out quickly. Egret. Trying to get flies, eagle, egret. It's what type of animal? I'm going to go out and guess on this one. I'm going to save my cheeks for later. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock in A bird. A bird, Max. Get it wrong, you're gonna feel like a bird brain. <laughs> you wanna see a picture of an egret? I would love one. I take a look at the board. There's an egret. <laughs> Good start today. Let's keep it going. Pick another subject. Nelly? We're going to go third grade grammar. Third grade grammar. Third grade grammar. Yeah. For $3,500, the third grade grammar question is, how many definite articles are there in the English language? How many definite articles are there in the English language? Lauren has locked in her answer. What are you thinking? Talk it out, Telly. I have no idea what an article in the English language is. I've never even seen that. Well, if you just guessed, you've got a, an <laughs> infinite chance of possibilities there. Yeah, one through infinity. One through infinity. OK, um, well, she's in school right now, so I'm going to have to copy. I'm locked in copy on that one. All right, if she hadn't been here, and I just made you guess, what would you have said? Three. Three. Yes, three. OK. The only definite article in the English language is the, T-H-E. Three would have been wrong. OK. A and an are indefinite articles. Of course. So if Lauren said one, you've got $5,000. Take a look at the board. Three, she agreed with you, Telly. Oh, smart, that was a good guess, that was a good guess. That's all right. Great minds think alike. Great minds. Vocab. Vocab for my man. Second grade vocabulary. Get it right, we'll add $1,000. Here's the second grade question. By definition, the word visual refers to which of the following senses? Taste, 
smell, or sight. By definition, the word visual refers to which of the following senses? Taste, smell, or sight. Antonio has locked in his answer. That would be sight, locking that in. And you know what I say to that? Duh. <laughs> Of course it's sight. Give the man another thousand dollars. Six subjects remain. You can answer first, second, or third grade now. Animal science! Animal science! Yes. All right. It's worth a thousand dollars. Here is the animal science question. True or false? A crocodile and an alligator are members of the same species. True or false, a crocodile and an alligator are members of the same species. Antonio has locked in his answer. What do we know about crocodiles and alligators besides they make awful good looking boots? I was gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. um, they are reptiles and uh, you don't wanna mess with either of them. I will say true, lock it in. Well, the good thing about true or false questions is you have a 50-50 shot. You guess true. All I can say is don't go to Vegas today. Uh. Because the correct answer is actually false. It's okay, it's okay. It's all right. There's an alligator, there's a crocodile. They look like okay. cousins, don't they? They look pretty related. Actually, the one on the right looks a lot like my aunt. <laughs> Let's turn this around. $2,000 on the board. Biggest subject. Let's make some money, Marcus. Okay. Let's go with second grade animal science, and I'm going to get this one. Second grade animal science, and he's going to get it. I got to get this one. Come on, Marcus. Come on. The second grade animal science question is this True or false? Chinchillas are native to Asia. True or false, chinchillas are native to Asia. I'm trying to picture that little ugly animal. <laughs> I know it's ugly with big eyes, but I can't quite, well, I could be wrong. I, you just described one of my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say true. True. <laughs> Let's look at the word chinchilla. Does that seem like an Asian word? I was hoping maybe you'd look at that. Well, it's got China in it if you mix around the letters <laughs> a little bit. Actually, chinchillas are native to South, South America, America, not Asia. So you can choose either a first or a second grade question now. Second grade animal science it is for $1,000. Here is our second grade question. True or false, some frogs hibernate. True or false, some frogs hibernate. Antonio has locked in his answer. Hmm, frogs do live in the lake, so some do, right? Some do. <laughs> um, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with false, and I'm gonna lock that answer down. Yeah. Whenever the word some is up there, it makes me nervous. Because <laughs> it doesn't say all frogs hibernate, but some frogs hibernate. And I hate to tell you this, but the answer is actually true. In colder climates, there are frogs oh. that hibernate. <laughs> and they burrow down into the mud. It's okay. Here's the good news. There's $23,500 still on the board. You can turn that into $235,000. If you were gonna miss one, that's the time to miss one. Okay. All right, first grade, second grade, third grade. What would you like, Michelle? Third grade teacher! I'm gonna go with third grade grammar. Third grade grammar, okay. It's worth $3,500. Let's get this one right. We're through giving money yes. back. The third grade grammar question is, what is the plural past tense of the verb be? What is the plural past tense of the verb be? 
All right, Antonio has locked in his answer. Okay. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking past tense of the verb be. I'm not too sure, Jeff, but I'm going to go with bid. Lock my ass. Lock it in, bid. Yes. <laughs> you think Ben? Now, I told you you could peek at your classmates' paper, right? Yeah. Let's take a look at what Antonio said. Antonio said, were. I will tell you this, one of the two of you is correct. Unfortunately, Michelle, it is our fifth grader. The correct answer is were and not been. Thankfully, we didn't give any money back that time.